Hey y'all, Mrs. E here, and this morning Apex Legends released uh, a tweet and it's got a whole video focused on Ash's abilities. So it's like her, her character ability trailer thing. I don't know. I'm really excited to look at it because we're actually going to get like a proper look, I believe, at her abilities, see how they are focused in. I know, um, I think the last video and the video before this, I had mentioned that it seemed like her abilities were similar to her Ronin Titans from Titanfall 2, which I was personally worried about uh, in my video that I put out with, but I still stand behind, about not wanting Ash to be a legend. Uh, one of the things that I was kind of focused on was how are they going to translate, like she's already got known abilities in Titanfall 2. So I was really, really curious to see how that could be transferred into uh, Apex Legends without it kind of like ruining what we knew about her from Titanfall 2. So we're going to take a look see at that. I'm really, really excited. Thank you so much for checking everything. If you're new to the channel, hit that like and subscribe button. Turn those notifications way on. Uh, we also have a Discord linked below in the description, and I also uh, stream on Twitch uh, during the daytime most of the time, Eastern Standard Time. I normally start between like 9 and 10 a.m. Uh, and go to like 1 or, 1 or 2, and then we stream like all Saturday afternoon most of the time. So yeah, if you uh, if you want to come hang out, chat with everyone, talk Apex, or any other game, uh, I'm always down to talk about things. But yeah, let's give uh, Ash's abilities a look -see, shall we? For decades, Ash has been known across the Outlands as a ruthless killer, unburdened by conscience. But a dark secret lurks beneath the surface. Hello, can anyone hear me? Thank you. Another consciousness hidden away. <laughs> While Ash has little love for the legends, in death, they become useful, and analyzing their death box will lead her to their killers. Okay. You made a fatal error crossing me. Inspired by her old titan, Ash can throw out a paralyzing snare to bind her prey. Allowing her to close in for a more personal finish. Nice. You should have scurried away while you had the chance. While Ash is a fearsome force from any distance, her most terrifying power is the ability to tear through space itself. Another precise execution. I'll see you very soon. And I will be the last thing you ever see. Okay. Okay. Okay, y'all. I got I got thoughts on this. I've got I've got some thoughts. First of all, after watching this now, Ash is going to be officially nicknamed the third party princess. There is this ability right here. What is this? Tracking down their killers. While Ash what? has little love for the legends, in death they become useless. Marked for death. And analyzing their death. Okay, so this marked for death. She is about to be the proper third party princess. So they're over here, but they can see that the legend. So I'm curious then. I'm curious with this. Does the team that she is has scanned and now marked do they so they're probably going to get some type of a notification we see it with seer we've seen it with bloodhound they're probably going to get some type of a notification here curious to see what the notification will look like but that's that's fantastic i also love the view that we get of our new map i'm so excited uh to to actually like get a proper look at that map and also i probably plan on going swimming the first half i think <laughs> i think i'm literally just gonna see how far i can swim without uh without it using i'm curious about that as well uh i'm curious because it, it really looks like there's gonna be like a beach but yeah anywho so moving on from that i'm gonna get sidetracked here so marked for death Ash's map shows the locations of death boxes and marks surviving attackers. I wonder how it'll look 
I guess it's only going to show the attackers, or is it going to show the people that kill? Because Apex is very, like, let's be real, y'all. It's third party after fourth party after fifth party. So with this, I'm curious, if you knock someone, like, it's, it's three teams going against each other, right? You got team A, team B, and team C. So team A knocks and kills two people from team C. Team B knocks one person from team C. And then they go their separate ways because ring or their chicken or they're trying to like reload themselves. So I'm guessing that it's gonna show the two members from team A and the one member from team B that that did that took out that team. I'm that that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. That's oh I can't wait to play with an Ash on my team. Inspired by her old titan, Ash can blow out a paralyzing snare to bind her prey, allowing her to close in for a more personal fit. This is another thing I'm really, really excited to see that they've brought in from Titanfall 2. I kind of wish that they hadn't made it an ability. I wish that they had actually made it like a, like a grenade that anyone can pick up. I, I love this. I loved doing the, like, using these in the, the Arc Snares. I loved using the version that we get of them in Titanfall 2. Um, I'm really, I'm going to hate it. I know I'm going to get stuck every single time. I'm already calling it right now. I know I'm not that good. Uh, but that's fantastic. I love that they brought that in from Titanfall 2. I, I really, that is a great callback. And I'm, I'm down with that. I'm down with that callback. Y'all know I'm not a fan of gatekeeping. I don't like people like, oh, I'm in Titanfall 2. It's the same, same universe, same company, you know. Anyhow, yeah. So I'm actually really, really excited about this arc snare. I think it's, I think it's fantastic. This is what I have been looking forward to finding out more about since they announced this ability because I could not figure out, is it like Wraith? Is it kind of like Horizon? What is it like? And they've really taken, I feel like, two things. And they've taken the fact that Horizon can go up and Wraith can portal. And they've just put it into one thing and then made it only one way. Which I like. You can't go back. Once you've gone forward, you're stuck. But this is what I love to see right here. While Ash is a fearsome force from right any here. distance, her most terrifying power is the ability to tear through space itself. And we take our teammates. And confirmed, we take our teammates. I'll see you very soon. Confirmed. And I will be the last thing you ever see. I love this. I love this. I love this. Confirmed, we take our teammates. Initially, I was really confused. I was really confused. I was like, yo, I don't understand. Is it just going to be Ash pushing through? Or is it going to be like, we can take the whole team? I was assuming... Honestly, I was assuming that, so I was wrong here. I was assuming that it was only Ash because I couldn't find any of the trailers, watching them over and over and over again. I could not find any type of verification that her teammates went through. It kind of looked like it, but then it also looked like a Wraith portal. So it was like, which, what is it? What is it? Uh, so I'm excited that we now have official footage verification. A, it, it does look identical to a Wraith portal, which is, that's gonna be fun. Uh, there are going to be a lot of, a lot of traps being used this way. Cause I feel like, <laughs> like, where is it at? I'm, I'm really, how are you going to be able to tell the difference between this portal and a wreath portal? I'm, I'm interested to see, I guess, I guess it's, a, it's a flat line. So it doesn't look exactly like a wreath portal. Maybe I need to get my eyeballs checked. The, the entrance looks like a wreath portal a bit, but it's, Maybe it's more, yeah, so this is more like a tear, whereas a, a, the Wraith portals are very oval. Uh, this is exciting. The phase, y'all, I will, I will continuously say this from now on though, y'all. Ash is the third party princess. She is, love it or hate it, if y'all think third parties are bad now, Tuesday, when the, when this, when this hits, Tuesday is really when third parties are gonna hit hard. I cannot, yeah. This is gonna be, yeah, she's the new third party. This is, they, every team is gonna have an Ash on it. Unless they're like, one of those hold back and wait for everything to end type of teams, which I mean, they happen. 
So this is this is gonna be interesting. All right, y'all. So what are your thoughts? What do you think? How crazy are those abilities? I'm really excited that we actually got a chance to like properly see them in action prior to the season starting. I really feel like Ash is gonna be just third party princess from now on. Y'all better go ahead, get that crown ready for her. If you could third party before, think of how much easier third partying is going to be now. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I'm really interested to see. I think everybody else is still really excited about her. I'm excited for you all. I'm really, really excited that I'm gonna have an Ash basically on my team, I feel like forever now. I don't, nobody else, Honestly, everyone that I've spoken to about it and everyone that's talked to me about it, everybody's really, really excited to play her. And I'm excited that nobody's like, well, it's fine, I'm gonna stick with my main lifeline. Cause I'm the only lifeline main sticking with lifeline and I'm okay with that. I'm sure there's a million more, but I'm really excited. Nobody's touching my main still. Um, but all right, y'all, uh, I hope you're having a fantastic day. And don't forget, hit that like and subscribe, turn those notifications way on, and I will see y'all next time. Go team!